Hello, this is Father Daniel Kim, Marital Missioner, and welcome to our daily Gospel reading and reflection. Today's Gospel reading is according to St. Mark, chapter 12, verses 18 to 27. Some Sadducees, who say there is no resurrection, came to Jesus and put this question to him, saying, Teacher, Moses wrote for us, If someone's brother dies, leaving a wife but no child, his brother must take the wife and raise up descendants for his brother. Now there were seven brothers. The first married a woman and died, leaving no descendants. So the second brother married her and died, leaving no descendants. And the third likewise. And the seven left no descendants. Last of all, the woman also died. At the resurrection, when they arise, whose wife will she be? For all seven had been married to her. Jesus said to them, Are you not misled because you do not know the scripture or the power of God? When they rise from the dead, they neither marry nor are given in marriage, but they are like the angels in heaven. As for the dead being raised, have you not read in the book of Moses, in the passage about the bush, how God told him, I am the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. He is not God of the dead, but of the living. You are greatly misled. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Just as how Jesus proclaimed that our God is not God of the dead, but the living strikes a deep chord within me. And I believe part of what eternal life means is not to be forgotten. Whenever I attend or officiate a funeral mass, one of my prayers for the recently departed is, May you never be forgotten in this world and in the next. Being forgotten almost seems as if we are being snubbed out of existence. But we can find comfort in our faith that after our earthly pilgrimage is finished, and even long after our bodies are turned into dust, we will be remembered regularly through the prayers of the faithful still on earth until the day when Christ comes again. Conversely, during our time here in this world, we are being constantly remembered through the prayers of the community of saints in heaven. The bonds formed through our faith transcends earthly limits, and being aware of this truly helps when dealing with personal struggles, especially during the times when one might feel alone. With this in mind, let us continue to be strengthened by the connections given to us through our baptism to the living spiritual body of Christ. Thank you for listening to today's Gospel reading and reflection. Please be sure to tune in again tomorrow. Have a blessed and strength-filled day. If you enjoyed today's gospel reading and reflection, please make sure that you subscribe wherever you're listening to podcasts. Also, if you know somebody who may find value in today's reading, please make sure that you share it with them. To learn more about how you can support the work that Mary Knoll does around the world, please visit us at MaryKnollSociety.org. And if you're interested in subscribing to our online magazine, please feel free to visit us at MaryKnollMagazine.org. Thank you once again for spending your time with us today, and God bless.